What's up guys, welcome back to another patch notes video for Monday, which we do every Monday. However, this one's going to be a little bit different, probably very short, considering the fact that um, we cons we did just cover the Wilderness re uh, Reborn and stuff, uh, and the new quest in a in a video, a news post a couple of days ago. So there's not much point in me reading through everything again, and Jagex don't actually mention everything in here. Now, I wasn't actually going to make this video at all, but there is one part that I want to talk about a little bit, make you all aware about, and it'll be in the title probably, something about the uh, a rollback possibility. Possibility, uh, and that you should just be aware of it. I figured that was uh, that alone was actually worth making the video on so that you guys were aware of this as many of you probably would skim over it or something like that. But anyway, what we're going to talk about in this video is just reading through what they've, they've put for the patch notes and then we'll we'll go through and we'll talk about that rollback thing as we get there. So we've got the Wilderness Reborn and New Quest um, this week in RuneScape. So we've got the graphical change for the wilderness, we've got the gameplay change and stuff, and basically reading through all of this, um, it more or less says that the area has a new uh, PVM focus and threat uh, systems that adapt to your unique style, a high risk, high reward slayer experience, and a new opt-in system for PVP. We all know about this, if you haven't seen it, I'll link the video where I talk about it all in the uh, description, that's probably the easiest way, there's much more detail and in-depthness about that. Um, but uh, basically it says looking for a good place to start head to Mandrith who is now located at the pirate house to begin your slayer task You'll need 85 slayer plus a uh, uh, combat 120 plus as well So still hanging for a good old PvP speak to Valor at the border of the wilderness to opt in and get that iconic Wilderness skull any skull players can attack other players who have their skull enabled uh, um, But there's a link like I say that to the, the post that I covered uh, and that's that's pretty much it So let me just make sure there's nothing else in here Obviously, as you spend more time in the wilderness completing activities and slayer tasks, your threat level will rise. I'm going to take a look at this. I may post another video later today, or someone probably will, uh, where they've talked about it a little bit better, a little bit more, uh, and how it actually works, but we'll see when, once I get there. Now, the, this is the thing here about the rollback. So it says, an important message about the early hours of this update. It's pretty major work to take on a significant area of the game and transform the way it looks and operates. An update like this will therefore bring with it some risks. We want to be ready, even over-prepared, for the unexpected. When the update deploys, we will be taking our worlds down for a few minutes to take a snapshot, a picture of your account, who owns what, etc. If any major issues occur, we will then have the snapshot to roll back to if absolutely necessary. For this reason, we recommend that up until 1400 hours or 4 o'clock game time, you do not... 1400 hours? That's said 1600 hours. What the hell? <laughs> Just woke up. Leave me alone. <laughs> At 4 p.m. game time or 1600 hours, that you do not take part in any activities where you might gain something valuable that would be painful to lose. Again, we don't expect anything bad to happen but it may be best to remain cautious. So they're changing a massive part of the game, of course, and there's um, obviously a lot of stuff going into the game, a lot of stuff coming out of the game, uh, a lot of things being changed, and it could cause some major bugs. Like, it really could. They're doing a huge difference uh, for, the, for the game today, and it, it, this could be expected. But they are basically saying, coming out and saying, we may end up roll doing a rollback. We, we might have to do a rollback for this, so don't do anything that you, that you don't want to lose. So while that kind of seems a little bit frustrating because you're like, well, what does that mean? I just don't play the game how I normally would. I want to do PVM. Like, I want to get a drop. Um, you can do that still, but just keep in mind that you might lose your progress. It might happen. So it might be better to just, I, I don't know, do you just not play till 4 p.m. or do you just take the risk? I guess that's on you. But they have they've basically said that until um, 4 p.m. or 1600 hours, in game time, the game clock that you can actually have in game, um, then you want to basically just just chill out a little bit and just understand that everything you do there, the progress could be lost. Uh, this is pretty important. I want to make sure you guys saw this because people might have seen this and then just like, you know, it's, it's in bold, but it's it's not like, like it, it could have been a title or something instead, I guess. But uh, it is what it is and it's worth mentioning so that everybody knows about it. So, yeah, they're, they're preparing for a rollback. They're going to make sure that everyone keeps what they keep and... Uh, that, that's pretty much that's just what I wanted to make sure you guys know. But anyway, the rest of the stuff, there's a, a new quest, Daughters of Chaos, which we all know about. As the new wilderness is revealed, our legacy of Zamorak storyline begins in earnest with a new quest. If you've not been following the recent Zamorak uh, Crake, or you aren't ready, uh, aren't quite ready to face the daunting Elder God se uh, season first, this is the perfect jumping in point of the whole story. So I mentioned this last time as well. Um, 
Again, I'll link the previous video in the description. But you can start by going to the, the, the address steer in Falador Castle. Um, you need 40 archaeology and 40 divination to get started. Um, nice and easy. But um, again, the, more information on this in the in the previous video. I just figured it was still worth covering all this because I know a lot of you don't watch those ones, but you will watch the patch notes. So, yeah. There's a new merch store drop with loads of little new pins and stuff. They're, that, they're pretty cool. I like those. Um, they seem very old school runescapey though. Although, I don't think you can get these in old school. So, maybe not. Anyway, uh, green Slayer helmet. Okay. And uh, Squirks. Is these those fruits from the, the garden quest thing? That's freaking annoying as hell. They're cool. We know about the reoccurring maintenance. We're expecting it. Uh, this week's maintenance will take place at 10.30 game time on Wednesday, August the 3rd. We expect maintenance to last between two and three hours. They're doing this every week now, it seems, or every two weeks. So, uh, it's definitely good. It's definitely a good thing, in my opinion. Patch notes. <laughs> Patch notes are huge. Fix an issue where super mining potions would be renamed mining potions after consuming a dose. That's annoying. Viewing products in the augment store will no longer cause crashes and log players out of the game. Gathering from decaying guards outside of Croesus no longer cancels the action after successfully gathering an item. So that's pretty much it. Um, requirements change, you mentioned it a million times. Community screenshots and stuff. That's, that's pretty freaking cool art. Damn. Uh, we got some lore rune pins. We got uh, some more more art stuff, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. I think there's not um, that's that's cool. There's not a lot in here, but um, yeah, that's that's it. I just wanted to make sure you guys were all aware of the um, the rollback thing, and that that's that's pretty much it for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great time in the new wilderness. I'm going to probably make a video about it at some point, going around and looking at it, and and if there's anything worth actually talking about, then I'll do that. But other than that. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you later. See you later, guys.